process. Okay, so that, that, uh, Jill, can I ask you a favor if I can? Yes, of course. And um, maybe you can uh, find uh, in a, in a trying to to get in a, in a Zoom meeting uh, uh, Jack Giotto, which yes. is uh, which is a uh, Cristiano Savini at the moment uh, is a. Uh, He's in Milan, he's traveling, but I would love to enjoy the, the, the meeting with us, if it's possible, if yes, it's Luca, not a problem in, for you. He's included. He's included. I Grazie. see him there. On Good morning, everyone. How are you all? Wonderful to see you. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are just thrilled to have you all here. We are delighted you're joining us for our truffle experience today with Savini Tartuffi. My name is Jill Romano. I'm one of the owners of Dimensions and Travel along with Diana St. James. Before we get started, just a couple of reminders. We are going to record this event. We'll send a link out afterwards, which of course you can review as you're making your pasta or you can share with your friends and family. We'll keep you all in a listen only mode right now. So your microphone, um, we'll probably turn the cameras off as well, just so that we've got the best possible um, viewing here today. And as you listen to Luca, please put your questions in the chat box and we'll try to get to all of them. I'm sure we'll have time to do so. And now it is my pleasure to introduce you all to Cecilia of TFL Tours. Our special guest today, of course, is Luca from Savini Tartuffi, but I'd like to uh, turn the floor over to Cecilia for just one moment. Good morning, everybody from Tuscany, and welcome to the virtual travel experience. TFL Tours is incredibly pleased to be part of this event and to share it together with you and with Dimensions in Travel. Of course, what we really do hope for the near future and the coming seasons is to welcome you to Tuscany in person for a real travel experience and many others. But in the meanwhile, it is absolutely thrilling to see you here. It is a great pleasure. So before leaving the floor to Luca and his always incredibly hearty hospitality, I want to say Thank you so much, everybody, for having made this possible. We really do hope you will truly enjoy it. Thank you so much. Now, I am just so pleased to introduce you to Luca. Luca tells us, I exactly know where to start telling you about me. I was raised on a diet of truffles, of course. This is a family passion already belonging to my grandfather, Gino who became a truffle hunter out of necessity at first and then kept hunting truffles just for fun. I dug up my first truffle when I was five, even before going to primary school. And that was a very feeling of discovery and wonder is what I still experience every time I'm in the woods with my trusted four-legged furry friends. Love for nature, dogs, and family. This is me. I have 10 dogs, but believe it or not, not all of them are truffle dogs. Just some dogs turn out to be real truffle hunters assistants at the end of their training. At Savini's, I feel a bit like the host. I have sort of an innate attitude to hospitality. I'm glad when our guests feel at home and I cannot wait to receive my guests again. And Luca, we all can't wait to travel to Tuscany and to visit you. We are ready with our box of delicious food from Savini Tartuffi and looking forward to learning more about the truffle experience. Uh -oh. so Luca, please take it away. Buongiorno, buongiorno a tutti and uh, grazie. Grazie from the deepest of my heart. Let me say grazie to TFL, to Dimension in Travel for this uh, great uh, opportunity. Truffle, uh, you see, for us uh, is not... Uh, 
just a job, but let me say it's not a job at all. Truffle is uh, our life. Truffle is our passion. In, uh, in the box that you have just received, uh, you, you have found uh, the pasta, pasta, which is our tagliolini, who are made with truffle. You have a parmigiano reggiano cream with truffle. You have a truffle butter, and uh, we will see later how to make a delicious truffle pasta, veramente buona. And uh, we have uh, two other specialties uh, to make uh, an incredible aperitif. Uh, our truffle peschiole, little peaches, uh, and uh, truffle chips. All of those products uh, are made with uh, truffle. But, uh, you know, what is a truffle? Truffle uh, is not uh, an expensive variety of uh, potato. Truffle uh, is, a, is a mushroom. So is the fruit of the spora and the roots of certain kinds of trees. One thing for me very, very uh, interesting is uh, when the truffle is growing, it doesn't smell. When the truffle starts to smell is because uh, it's at the end of his life. He can just uh, keep smelling for the next uh, four or five days. Then the truffle doesn't smell anymore and it starts to be spongy mushy with a disgusting smell and taste. So it is important for us to be lucky. At the end, we need to know where to go and then try to find the truffle in the perfect condition. Because if the truffle is perfect, we can try to use all in one of the many products, or maybe we can just sell as a fresh and uh, you have found uh, in the box uh, as well, uh, the fresh uh, truffle. In Tuscany, we are not better. In Tuscany, we are lucky. We are lucky because uh, for many different reasons, you know, but uh, for us and for our life, uh, we are very, very lucky because we can have truffle from January to December, but because uh, we can find seven varieties. Seven varieties, that, that means uh, that we can have uh, uh, the incredible truffle experience that uh, uh, I, I really hope that you can uh, come very soon uh, to find us uh, from, uh, from January to December. Each uh, variety, they have uh, a different smell, a different taste, and uh, why not, a different use in the kitchen. We have uh, not only the white uh, truffle. You know, the white truffle uh, is the most uh, rare and the most expensive, but it's only one variety. The white truffle we have from September to December. So what kind of truffle can we have now? Now we have uh, the salmon black truffle. We had uh, a very, very lovely uh, March, uh, sunny, warm, so the season uh, is already started. We have uh, this variety, the one that you have just received, from April, May to September, October. And uh, here, in front of me, you can have uh, an example of uh, the fresh uh, truffle that uh, Myself and uh, my best friend, uh, we have found this morning. So this one uh, is uh, some black truffle. And uh, the black truffle, when you, when you find, uh, remember, you can do the same. You can check because you, you have received. The truffle doesn't have to be spongy or Moshi. The truffle must be firm as a rock, as a stone. So we don't uh, wash, but we just brush. If uh, uh, you have the white truffle, we always recommend it to use uh, a shaver. The white truffle we brush and we shave at the end. 
the summer black truffle we don't uh, shave and you will see that but uh, we brush and then we can use uh, a microplane or in the kitchen if you have a parmigiano reggiano grater it works as well because uh, it's different as we were saying not only in the color is different not only in the price is different uh, the use in the kitchen the white truffle we just shave the black truffle is much more in the taste the white on the nose the black in the taste so it's important uh, to know how to use it many chefs uh, even here in the area they just use the black truffle in the same way as the white but it's not the same so i will tell you a few tips to enjoy much more this variety of truffle when we are in the forest uh, is always uh, a challenge the truffle hunter you know is a is a freelancer we have uh, for uh, for Savini, imagine there are in Tuscany more than 600 truffle hunters. So the truffle hunter can go wherever. We need uh, a license, but then I can, if you have, for example, I tell you a funny story that sometimes it's difficult, you know, for me to explain, but if you have a property, a villa, a house, a land in Tuscany, you can find someone searching for truffle in the property and you can say nothing because the truffle hunter can go wherever by the law we are okay we are fine with the law we have to follow a few rules that there are one says for example to respect the calendar for example when we go searching for the white truffle in Tuscany the season opens September the 10th if I'm in the forest, the ninth, the polizia, you know, the carabinieri, the rangers can stop me and I will be in trouble with the law. So if I find and happens, you know, doesn't change the, the quality or, of truffle in one night. If we find white truffle, you know, I have just two possibilities. One, I put back the truffle in the hole. I cover the hole and I have to remember the area because in the season, in one week, in two or three weeks, I can find more truffle in the same spot. Or we can find the truffle and I can leave the truffle to my best friend, my best companion. Because if we are in the forest on our own, we can enjoy the forest, we can enjoy the view, we can have a lovely walk in the forest, but we come back with zero, with nothing. That's why we need an help. And the best help comes from uh, my friend. I ask you just a second. I'll be back one second. This is Giotto. Let me introduce you. Giotto is, uh, is not only a truffle dog. Giotto is, uh, is part uh, of the family. He's uh, one uh, of our eight uh, truffle dogs that we have uh, here. And, uh, you know, I shouldn't tell you, but uh, uh, I love all of the eight truffle dogs. He doesn't listen to me. But... Uh, uh, much more love, sorry, for him. But because uh, I spent uh, so many weeks and months uh, spending for training, and uh, he hasn't been very, very easy at the beginning. I will tell you a funny story. But uh, Giotto now has uh, five years old. He's a Lagotto, Lagotto Romagnolo. Looks like, uh, you see, uh, it's a um, um, Labradoodle Poodle. He just now uh, I took him from a, a fresh summer cat. So 
last week uh, it was twice uh, was uh, look at like a, a sheep so uh, it looks better don't you think now i think so so we went uh, in the forest uh, this morning that's why you see it looks uh, a little bit tired but uh, when we ca- when we go to the forest uh, uh, we go very very early we go at uh, five at six in the morning not because uh, i don't like to sleep i do like but because uh, when we are in the forest uh, and we are very very early it's easier not as much for me but it's easy it's easier for him and for his uh, nose easier because uh, uh, can they can smell it the truffle and uh, sorry yeah. because uh, uh, we can be the first in the forest searching for truffles so one second we have uh, we have uh, uh, Eight uh, dogs. Uh, Jotto is five, but you know when we have uh, when we have a truffle dog, uh, we need to we need to train. He doesn't born with a love for truffles, so we need to spend uh, the first uh, four six months uh, every day hoping to get uh, not only at the end. Uh, uh, Truffle dog, but uh, it can be, let me say, a truffle machine, or for some people, a money machine. You know, the very very beginning is uh, is uh, for us is important to choose uh, a very very good uh, dog. I mean, uh, the DNA in the dog. Uh, we have uh, uh, the list of. Uh, Giotto's father, Giotto's grandfather, and Hurley, and Hurley, and Hurley. So, uh, a lot of hope in him, but uh, it's not enough. The first step uh, is, uh, you know, to use, uh, this is what we do. Then maybe if you ask it to some other truffle hunter, uh, be careful because many of them, they like to lie. They will never tell you how to train the dog, how to find the truffle, where to go. This is why we don't have any more so many, many friends here in the area. But uh, for us, uh, the passion for what we do, it's uh, much more. So we use, when we want to train the dog, a truffle. In this case, uh, I'm sorry, I, I cannot let you touch, but this one is uh, mushy. It's very, very old. And you know, I found uh, this one this morning with uh, the others. So, uh, the smell is not very very good so imagine using a spongy truffle like this one on the mother's nipples yes we use it on top of it at the very very beginning when they have the puppy they have their milk they have i don't know why there is a strange truffle milk so we start at the very very beginning to let them taste and smell the truffle. Then we feed the dog with tiny pieces, but not a big truffle like this one. Because this one, remember, this one is for me, is for the hunter. But the tiny, tiny pieces, yes, so they can smell and they can taste. This is the very beginning. We keep doing this for four, five weeks. The first step. Then we go in the forest. We go in the forest during the day in a man-made forest. So it's easy for us to see where the dog is and it's easy for us to find a few spots where we can hide. You know the kind of surprise, the Easter egg. I love the chocolate, so the chocolate, you know, is for me. The surprise is always nothing. Even my son doesn't like the surprise, so I throw away the surprise. But we change with tiny pieces of truffle. We puncture it, and then we hide those pieces under the leaves. Then, week by week, always deeper and deeper. We take the dog. At the beginning, 
in front of the hole and we say Giotto. You know, Giotto is an Italian dog. He doesn't speak English, but we will try. Uh, he can prove. Uh, Giotto, dove? Dove? He means, where is it? And Giotto can say, I must have has, uh, lost the ball again. Let me find the ball. Let me make an happy. The dog is trying to do the impossible, not as much for the lasagne or for the treat or for the cookie. But I like to think that the dog is making the impossible to make me happy. Then if uh, he can get some delicious cookie, you know, it's even better. When uh, we go in the forest, uh, we go very, very early and uh, we don't feed the dog. Not because we are good. And you can see how love uh, we have for them. But... Uh, the dog must be, let me say, hungry. Hungry for finding truffles. He can find the truffle, he can get the cookie. Truffle for us, then cookies for the dog. I think it's very, very good for us, don't you think? Different varieties, they grow on a different depth. The summer black truffle, very, very shallow. So uh, the digger uh, that we need uh, is, uh, is very, very short. Completely different when uh, we have the white truffle, so from September to December, because the white truffle can be 20, like 50 centimeters deep. So imagine. The smell must be different, must be stronger. The dog can smell it, the white truffle, if it is 50 meters far in the forest, he depends how the wind blows. The dog starts to zoom to the target. The only thing we have to do is try to don't follow, don't, don't lose the dog, follow behind him, because when the dog smells the truffle, is like a machine. He just keeps digging and digging. If uh, we find a truffle, like in this case, you see, this is sponge, but you see, like this one, and uh, is uh, perfect in the shape, uh, we can sell, for example, to the chef. If it's uh, broken by the digger of the master, or maybe damaged by the dog while he's digging, what can I say? Better than nothing. But we cannot sell because uh, the chef, you know, if we try to sell a tiny, tiny pieces like a nut, he can say to me, Luca, they're very, very good. The smell is great. But, you know, I can shave my fingers with these tiny pieces. For us, are very important as well because we can make many, many different products. In uh, uh, this moment, uh, you see, we feel very, very lucky because we have at least one variety of truffles. There are periods during the year when we have uh, two, three varieties. So it's lovely for us as well when we have the experience to use uh, uh, on each course uh, a different uh, truffles. But the recipe, for us, uh, must be very, very simple because the protagonist is uh, the truffle. Recipe can be like a pasta that we are going to make uh, in a minute. Can be risotto, risotto with parmigiano, reggiano, and truffle, beef tartare, or even easier, fried egg. Egg and truffle. Is delicious. You can choose uh, if you like scrambled eggs, poached egg, fried egg, but egg and truffle is uh, something that you have to try. Um, then uh, in um, the product that you have seen uh, many, now we make uh, more than 80 different uh, truffle products, but you know, the story uh, of the family is started uh, a long, long time ago. Just now, Savini is the fourth 
generation of straw volantes. At the very beginning, when uh, 1920, truffle for us, for Savini, it wasn't uh, a job. Truffle, anti for truffle, he was just uh, an hobby. And you know, uh, there wasn't uh, a dog at that time. People were searching for truffle, but uh, using the pig. Because uh, people here in the, in the countryside uh, was easier for them, for the farmer, having the pig, because with the pig we can uh, feed the family, uh, compare having the dog. So why it's easier for the pig finding truffles? First of all, because uh, easier for us that we don't have to train. They're just born with the love for truffles. Truffle equals apples, acorn, potatoes. Truffle for the pig is just food. So they can smell with the nose, but in the second, they just eat. Uh, you know, my uh, grandfather, Gino, uh, I was you see, a teenager when I went to him and I, I asked, uh, what happened to your hand? You know, usually we have, uh, usually <laughs> we have uh, 10 fingers, but uh, one was uh, missing uh, from my grandpa because, uh, it's not so nice, but I tell you the truth. Uh, one piece of the fingers was uh, eaten somehow by the pig. So everything is in front of the pig's nose uh, is just food. When, uh, this is one reason so why people stop searching for truffle with the pig. When, uh, uh, after the second war, during the 50s, uh, in Piedmont, uh, imagine in Piedmont in Alba, the white truffle was already famous. In Tuscany, the white truffle was food for pigs. The truffle was nothing. If you think, still now, many restaurants, many chefs, they just know the name of Alba and Piedmont. They don't know that in Tuscany we can find truffles. And, uh, is completely different. In Tuscany, we can find uh, more varieties than in Piedmont. So many rich people during the 60s, 70s, rich people from the north of Italy, from Milano, from Torino, were used to come in the land of Tuscany. But not as much searching for truffles. They were here for game, for the wild boars, for deers. In that period, uh, Zelindo, which was the second generation of the Savini family, Zelindo was at the husband, the guardian of uh, Villa Saletta, a property here, just at two kilometers far from here. So what's easy for them? Zelindo, come to me. I know that in Tuscany, you can find truffles, but is it true? And Zelindo to them said, yes, we have. But you know, uh, for us are strange potatoes. Do you like them? Yes, we do love it. We go crazy for truffles. You know, Delindo, I come back in uh, two weeks. Do you mind let me find um, one kilo or two kilos of truffle if you have any chance? Two weeks later, Delindo, did you find any for me? Oh, you see, sir, I found those. Delindo are perfect. The smell, the taste. Can I buy it? Um, I don't know what to say, Delindo. You know, those are the money that I usually pay in Piedmont for truffles. So if it's okay for you, I give you the same money. For us, truffle was a disgusting potatoes. What can I say? If this is the money, okay, I will take the money. That has been the very, very beginning for us. So the truffle wasn't anymore just a passion, but it started to be a job, a life. So imagine after the first season 
with a white truffle. Doing this, searching and selling truffle as an hobby. He got some money. He decided to change his uh, scooter. Not only the Vespa, the Vespa is still here in our Salvini Museum, but uh, he decided to buy for himself a super bike. It was a BSA, a thousand CC, very, very expensive. You know, only the owner of the property could buy for himself. At the end of the day, Delindo received a call from the owner and he said, Delindo, before you go home, come back in the office because I need to talk to you. Delindo was a little bit surprised. Okay, come. Delindo, please have a seat. You know, I don't want to talk a lot with you about this, but uh, after one day that I see you in my property, riding the super bike, instead of the poor scooter, now even the Vespa is very expensive, but uh, there are already many, many rumors between the, the other workers. They think I pay you much more than them, and uh, they think I pay you, you know, in black. This is not true. I don't want to have this problem. So sell your motor bike and uh, come back to work. You know, we are lovely. We are very smiley person. We are Toscan. So <laughs> Zelindo, I think uh, he didn't uh, spend so much uh, seconds. He took a piece of paper from the desk of the owner. He put a sign on the bottom and he said uh, to the owner, I didn't uh, uh, steal any money from you. This is my last day for you, for the company. And uh, from tomorrow morning, you can uh, find someone else doing my job. That has been, uh, I would do, can we say, uh, Savini's turning point because uh, that has been honestly very, very risky for us. Now we are here, the fourth generation, uh, we are smiling with many, many, you see, as uh, uh, many other company, we are having problems the last uh, year, but we are still here. Enjoy uh, our life, enjoy our travel, enjoy our passion. But uh, uh, imagine 70 years ago, uh, he was uh, already, I think, a, a lucky person having a job. His uh, wife was, uh, was the cook. We cannot say was the chef, was the cook for the owner. So two lucky and very, very good position for the, for the company. But uh, maybe Delindo wasn't uh, uh, as much a um, truffle hunter, a very good truffle hunter. But uh, to, today we can say uh, it was, um, a, a businessman because he saw in a truffle the business for the future. The business is started only with a fresh truffle. Then at the end of the 70s, Luciano, the third generation, with Luciano, we he started to make the product, the sauce, the honey. Now we make, as we were saying, more than 80 different truffle products. And uh, the business, uh, you see, was only with the local uh, chef or gastronomy. Just here in the area and in Tuscany. With uh, Cristiano, now the fourth generation, uh, uh, another step. You see, from the father to the son, uh, is, is a passion that goes through uh, the, 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 the years. I'm, I'm not part of the family, but I feel like uh, I've lost it. For me, Lu Cristiano is like a uh, uh, brother. Luciano is uh, another father for me. So we are all of us, uh, all of us, we feel uh, part of the family. So we, Cristiano, now we export in uh, 42 countries. Uh, more than the 70% of the business is in the export. But uh, I think uh, it's important, uh, don't forget uh, our roots, uh, where uh, we come from. In this uh, tiny, tiny village, uh, 
in the middle of nothing, but this nothing for us is everything because we can find truffles. We are between uh, Pisa, Florence and Siena. So half an hour, one hour from far from those town. But uh, we know for everything you need a car. But uh, I think I couldn't change uh, uh, my, my life here. So I can, uh, you see, talk for hours and hours. Maybe I can get uh, body some, some of you. And uh, sorry for this, but it's just uh, uh, my, my passion that I would love to, to share with you. Uh, if you have any questions, just please let me know. If not, we can uh, start uh, making the recipes. Hey, uh, let me, you see, I'm a multitasking guy. In the, in the morning, uh, I'm a truffle hunter, I'm a waiter, and uh, like a Superman, I can be a truffle chef. So let me wear my vest, my apron. You see, Giotto is, uh, is waiting for food as well, eh? so... Let me start uh, cooking. But uh, at the beginning, uh, let me say, enjoy truffle with uh, a delicious aperitif. The aperitif can start with uh, our truffle uh, chips. Very, very good. For me, it's like a, a drug. So let me open it for you. Ah, uh, very, very crunchy. We have, in this case, uh, truffle, the black, uh, black truffle. One is enough. So this one uh, is uh, something ready. You have friends, you are uh, on, you know, on your own in the kitchen watching TV. Buonissime, buonissime our truffle chips here. Ready, you can just uh, open the package and enjoy. Something different uh, and something that um, maybe when you have uh, some friends, you like uh, and you want to play with them, uh, you can do it with our peschiole. Peschiole means baby peaches. If you have the jar in front of you, you can see that they look like an olive. It's not an olive. It is a peach. Imagine that um, in the vineyard, when uh, um, there are too many fruit, we have to make a green harvest. We do the same with the fruit. When there are too many, many fruit at the tree, we leave on the tree, a few, they can mature and they can be the regular peaches. In fact, it's not important the variety, but we, mm, it's important that they must be just born. If we open it, my suggestion is take a um, paper towel, um, kitchen towel, and uh, you, you see, you dry a little bit because at the beginning we uh, put in a vinaigrette, at the end, oil and truffle. So, if you enjoy just from the jar, there can be uh, two tower. So too strong in the flavor. For me, my first suggestion is to dry, you see, a little bit. Then you can cut, you can slice, and you see inside that the seed didn't grow. So it's possible to eat everything. You can use the peaches to make a delicious 
truffle martini. So don't use uh, the olive, but use the peach. You can use in the salad. You can shave on top of pasta. In some of our restaurants, we shave the um, peaches and we call it green truffle, just for, to play with it. But uh, for me, even easier if you just uh, eat uh, like this, a glass of Prosecco or sparkling wine, very, very good. You can play again with your friends and say, try this olive, but uh, of the olive, uh, he just has the shape and the color. As soon as you taste, you change completely your mind. We have the aperitif ready with truffle chips, with peschiole, baby peaches, with truffle. And uh, you see, Tuck. and the aperitif uh, is uh, ready with uh, the truffle, with the peaches. Uh, and uh, with the chips. Okay. This is the easier part uh, of the menu, but uh, it's just the beginning because now we are going uh, to make uh, pasta. So pasta, for making pasta, we use uh, uh, the other three ingredients. We have pasta. So you see our tagliolino is a dried egg pasta. It's not our case, but this one is very, very good. Even uh, with just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and that's it. For sure, for us, would be much better. So you have in a pot, salty water. Then when it's boiling, you put the pasta and it's very, very easy and fast to cook it because you just need to cook for three minutes. After three minutes, let me start cooking. After three minutes, when it's al dente, Oh, one thing that I don't want to forget, you have uh, in your box, uh, you have two packages of pasta. One big jar of Parmigiano, Reggiano, and uh, you have uh, one jar of the truffle butter. This quantity, the two packages of pasta, Parmigiano and the butter are perfect for four, six serving. That depends how you like the pasta. Uh, one egg of pasta is okay for two, three. So this is why today, for example, I'm going to use, you see, I'm on my own with, uh, with Giotto, only one package of pasta. One package of pasta. Uh, just now you see it's uh, cooking, then uh, we use uh, just uh, an half, half quantity of uh, truffle butter, because remember, I'm using just uh, one package of pasta. If you uh, are five or six, you use the whole quantity, the whole jar. Again, we do the same with uh, butter. I'm using half jar of Parmigiano. I'm going to use half jar of truffle 
but uh, you mix at the beginning because we don't use any preservative. This is very, very important and we feel very, very proud of it because uh, uh, you can taste the real ingredients. The only thing uh, when we don't use any preservative, uh, the jar after opening must be used in a few days. So it's okay if you use the whole, but in case you don't want to use or you use just enough, remember to use uh, in the next uh, three, four, five days. In the while, you keep in the fridge. Then I like uh, very, very creamy. So maybe a little bit more for me. Then we use truffle butter. Do the same with the butter. You mix a little bit and then an half jar of it. To make the cream, the only thing that you have to eat to, to add uh, is a, a little bit of pasta water pasta water to make the sauce to make the cream so i have the parmigiano i have the butter here okay so a little bit of pasta water and the sauce is ready now i'll show you right the sauce It's uh, very, very easy to cook it. You see, in, a, in total, in a five minutes, uh, the pasta will be ready. The trough that you have received, it's uh, already brushed and ready to be grated. Now we have the cream. So we have the Parmigiano, Reggiano, and truffle cream. We have... Uh, the truffle butter and we have uh, pasta the pasta water it's important now the only secret that you have to do when you have the truffle you see try to grate uh, at least um, enough uh, but depends on the quantity if you use uh, one package or two packages of pasta now it's very very important to grate the parmesan the truffles because the heat uh, make them taste much much more great you see inside uh, how the truffle must be black is the skin then inside you have those white uh, vents. Those vents are, if you think, not only then the capillaries of the roots. The color of the gleba, gleba is the inside part of truffle, can be different. It can be brown, uh, beige. No, it doesn't change the taste as much, but uh, just show us the beauty of the nature, the beauty of the forest. Different trees can make different the color of the gleba here. This one, if you smell it, uh, it smells of forest. But if you taste, uh, the recipe will be completely, completely different. So we don't peel it. This is another, I don't want to say secret, but uh, even uh, in a uh, local uh, restaurant, uh, I've seen peeling. You see, the black 
and then selling the truffle as a white. Completely different the price of the black truffle uh, of the white truffle. So it's important uh, the respect uh, and it's important to trust. For me, this is at the very, very beginning. It's, it's, a, it's the, the bottom of everything. So we don't peel the truffle, but we use the hole. You have the truffle and then you see, you get it. Because that the other half uh, that you will uh, keep uh, on the sides, uh, we are going to use at the end. But at the end, that will be much more for the presentation, for the look. So this one, if I can make a little bit, then I will put in the fire. If you make it uh, just now, or if you, you make it when you like, you. The smell is amazing. So we just uh, cook for another minute. Just the, just the cream. Pasta is ready for sure. Okay. Then my nice hole is ready. The truffle is ready now i just take the pasta put in there with the cream okay. so you know that here in italy is almost uh, nine so I just had breakfast this morning with my best friend, Giotto. So I am very, very hungry. Pasta must be deliciosa. Okay. So pasta is ready. You mix all of the ingredients like here. Pasta is ready. Very, very creamy, as I do like. Truffle at the end. But remember, this one at the end could be, is not necessary because you have a truffle in the cream, a truffle in the butter, a truffle in the pasta, Truffle, which is the, the base, uh, in the cream. This one uh, is uh, just for to garnish. If you have uh, at home the slicer, the one that we normally use uh, for the white truffle, you can use it, this one as well, but uh, just uh, again for the show. Luca, it's Jill. That looks absolutely delicious Grazie. i wish we had smell a vision so i could smell that beautiful truffle <laughs> grazie mille grazie mille luca can you tell us how long the truffles in their package will last in the refrigerator how soon should they use the truffle in uh, so oh, so ship on monday Monday. So another from now another four or five days. But it's very very important uh, from the moment that you have received it. That's why I put a note in the box. Uh, keep it in the fridge, uh, wrap in a paper towel, 
and uh, it's important to change the towel every day but uh, use uh, as soon as you can imagine uh, 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 you see as you, for me the best fridge uh, the best fridge uh, you see it's uh, this one just uh, eat uh, as soon as it's possible uh, don't uh, use in uh, more than one week because uh, uh, imagine that we have uh, you see we have spent already one week uh, was a ship on monday the travel uh, is arrived on thursday today is a saturday four or five days uh, i think uh, is the maximum then uh, no more than one week no more than one week very good. Thank you so much. You know, you have covered so much for us today. Uh, we have yes. no other questions to share with you. I think you've covered it all. It's just been fabulous. I'm just going to uh, open up everybody's videos here so we can just uh, say a quick bon appetito to everyone. Bon appetito, but if it's possible, I would love to say bon appetito as well from, uh, from my, my friend Giotto Vieni. Okay, so Giotto, say ciao. Giotto, grazie, grazie a tutti, buon appetito. Thank you so much, Thank everyone. You. Grazie. Oh, sorry, grazie. Jenna, go ahead. Oh, just grazie for such a wonderful experience. I can't wait. Uh, I'm away from my home right now, but I can't wait to go back and get started on creating my own uh, truffle meal. That was incredible. And it means so much more hearing the exact story of where it came from. Grazie. 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 Thank you all for joining us. I'm so glad we could pull this wonderful event off. I know you're all dying to dig into your packages and uh, cook some wonderful pasta and enjoy those truffle chips. So have a have a wonderful <laughs> weekend and buon appetito. Grazie, grazie mille. Ciao.